Hi. Uh, this video is about one of my YouTube subscribers comment. Uh, so the user was asking here a list of numbers separated by comma. The value will be always be different. They may range from list of one to six digits separated by commas. I used the delimiter as comma and was able to get the first and last of each comma separated number. But I'm not sure if I did the split function correctly. I believe it should be an array once it is split by the commas correct. Okay, so how to get the, you know, all the values, if it's, if it's a range of numbers between a delimiter, how to read each and every values. Okay, I'll explain it in this flow that. So I'm going to add a compose here. Right, and I'm going to put 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Okay, so here you can see my delimiter I'm using is a comma here. Okay, so the separator is a comma. And uh, the next thing I'm going to use another compose. Right, and use the expression split and the split of the value, which is the, you know, the input value with the comma separated here it is okay so for this uh, what i could do now is i could go to the compose again so this is my compose to output go to the expression and uh, use the first first of the compose to output which is the previous here right and i'm going to use another compose again which is going to be compose 4 I'm going to use the last. So last compose two again. So here I'm using the first, this I'm using the last. Okay, so let's use a split demo expression. Okay. I'm going to save this and run the flow now. Right, let's have a look at this. So the split given is given the values as an array. That's what the split does. So you can see it puts puts an array, uh, you know, the values in an array now. Here it is. And uh, this is the first expression. So the first value is 10. And the last value is 60, I believe. Yeah. So how can we get the rest of the values like 20, 30, 40, 50? Or how can we trade all the values? So the technique you need to use it. There are different ways you can use it. There's one way of using that is you can use again the compose here. And here I could say this is where the split is happening. Okay. So I could go and say like I can map that value as output compose 2. Yeah. Output of compose 2. See the syntax there. Output bracket compose 2. Just highlight it and uh, control x that that means it's it's in the clipboard now and paste that and see pasting it remember remove all these curly signs and the uh, characters and place your cursor at the end and or you can directly map from the dynamic content also here under the expression um, no you can't uh, so under the expression, I'm going to use this way now. Yeah, so output compose two. Yeah, uh, then This is something you need to remember question mark and you can put Zero so that zero means it gives the first number. So click OK at that So let's see how that's going to work So here it is see so because we know the index the first value that's the reason i put zero there okay now um, i'm going to change the index now to uh, four now update that so four means index start with zero zero one two three four so i should get 50 now that's the result i'm expecting okay yeah
here it is see 50 so this way also you can get any values then using the index so this only works if we know the fixed characters like 0 1 2 3 4 5 that's the only way you can get and um, you know so if i if i got another something like comma 90 and comma 100 so in basically what you want here now is you need to go one two three four five six the seventh index is the 90 and the eighth one is the 100 one yeah so you can you know you can use um, like that so suppose i'm going to use here question mark like here i don't know uh, 11 here so let's see what we are going to get update that so i'm going to use 11 there yeah and there is no 11 here we know that it's only you know it's the index is less than 11 here we got up to eight index only here zero one two three. it's it's easy to remember this i'm going to change to 70 this way it's easy then okay so the index is up to seven then don't you because index start with zero so but i put here um, 11 then right let's see the result now save and test see it's not failed because i'll tell you the reason so it's there's nothing there in the output so it's blank the reason why it's not failed is i put the question mark if i put question mark it won't fail because it's optional if it's there it will show otherwise it won't whereas if i remove the question mark and update that here we go now what happened then is uh, let's see what will happen so i'm clicking the run flow now and it failed so the reason for the failure here is you can see here combos five input line zero column zero the template language expression uh, cannot be valid because array index 11 is outside the bound of 0 to 7 see that so that's the reason it failed because it said uh, th this is up to 7 index yeah 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but we put 11 there whereas when we put the question mark the error it's an optional one then so that's one way of avoiding that you know there is one more way we, we can uh, we can um, iterate all the values there's another way I'll show you that here. I'm going to construct a loop. So click on the control and click on an apply to each. So under the apply to each, I'm going to say the output of the split, this output of the split here. So that is compose two output. Okay. And then inside that, I'm going to add another compose again. And here I'm going to go to the expression and say item. That's it. So what? what should happen here is it will iterate that array because that's the reason i put that as a, that in the apply to each loop yeah so let's see what happens now so here it is so we got one two eight so we got you know one two three four five six seven eight values here yeah so that's why it says one two eight the first one is 10 the next one is 20 third one is 30 and i'm going to change here to 7 and press enter there let's see whether i could change i thought i could change here to 7 no yeah 7 see here we go so you can directly change also from here also or click each and every value to see you need to click the next next or if you want to go to a particular value to see all you need is type here and press enter uh, you don't need to press enter i think you can just change the value yeah um it's a little bit tricky it's not allowing me to change it oh, i don't know why that's me let me highlight it and change it yeah okay highlight and change it so change to 60 then yeah so that's the way you can iterate also so this way you can get all the values if you want to target only some particular value then you need to put the index also so the index um, you know we, uh, we use we can use the first and the last that will only give you the first value and the last value from the array if you want to iterate everything you need to put that in a loop and use the expression called item and also if you know the exact index what you want to get then you need to use something like this as a syntax also and that is uh, with the output of the split uh, that is from the combos to uh, with the question mark which won't throw the error then if the index is not there then put the index the number which the, remember the index start with zero and zero zero onwards okay Thank you for watching.